How's it going guys? So today we have kind of a little, uh, it's not really a different video. We're going to do a little Copart exploration. I'm going to show you what BMWs are currently on Copart, whether I would buy them. So it's going to be current vehicles on there. So if you live in the city, that vehicle's in, might be something for you. But first, we have a jump pack to open. I love doing jump pack uh, reviews. So this is the Amazing, I-M-A-Z-I-N-G. It's a 1200 milliamp jump starter and power bank. Link will be in the description. Let's go and open this up real quick. The iMazing. All right, let's take a looky, look see here. A looky. And we're still using the other ones I got sent. This is the most valuable piece in the whole shop, trust me. Especially if you're dealing with BMWs. As everybody knows, you have BMW and it sits and you don't start it for a week or two, the battery's down. It's just the fact of the situation let's see what we got here this looks ever so strikingly similar to my audio which has been going strong for several years now and this is actually decent because holy crap look at the size of the freaking clamps on that bad boy that was the drawback of the audio is it works great but it had these little tiny little clamps and they will like fall apart and you try to put them back on. This one does not have the jump pack made onto the cord either. So that is good. That does not have the little uh, box made onto it. So they give you a, a thing to charge up through a cigarette lighter. They give you an AC power charger. They give you a... I ain't sure what this is. So I think this is the output you can plug into the pack and then charge your car off of that or power up your car off of that. That's the way it looks to me. Then, what do they give us here? Well, I can't win them all. I gave you the Android connector instead of the Apple one, but we already have one of those anyway, so it doesn't make any difference. And you can use any USB to iPhone or Android adapter on those to charge it with. So here's the actual pack. Let's take a look see here it's a little bit slimmer than some but fatter than a lot so it's got um okay yeah so it actually has an output um quick charge 3.0 and then it had for via usb then it has a standard output usb and then it has an output here to charge it so i'm not quite sure what the charging situation is. Are we charged? No. Okay, so there's input. So I'm, I'm sure you charge it there or in, charge it with mini USB. Yeah, it's got some different features, man. I don't know, we'll charge it up and see. All right, copart.com, here we are. And I have to say something before we start this. We'll go to locations up here. Um, buying a car from Copart. Copart is a salvage yard. They treat it like a salvage yard. They haul them around like a salvage yard. It is what it is. Don't spend very much on a car from here. I'll give you a bold, fair warning. Anyhow, uh, most of these cars are neglected, no matter what anybody tells you. Let's start with St. Louis. So that's kind of, it's fairly close to us. <clears throat> so we have... Uh, a couple options here. Let's go to view sale list. This 315 2019, which is tomorrow. Their auction is on Friday. And let's just do a little searchy search here. Uh, let's see how many BMWs they have in there. Now, Missouri stuff, you have to have a license if it's a salvage title. If it's not a salvage title, you do not. So that'll be instead. You can get a broker and buy stuff. You don't have to have a license. A dealer's license. So let's try. Let's look at this one first. This is up tomorrow. This video is going to be posted tonight. So there is that. A salvage title certificate, 106,000 miles. Front end, secondary damage, mechanical. You okay? Um, uh, whoa, buddy. Almost went to the wrong page. Uh, $10,000 estimated retail. There is all that. It's 3.0, obviously it's N52 engine. Sales status, minimum bid, 375 bucks, and it's on reserve. 
Let me tell you something about Reserve and Copart. It's changing over to a lot of them are Reserve and not Pure Sale. And the Reserves are pretty um, wishful thinking most of the time. Got a big nasty dent right there. It is a not so common maroon uh, E60. This is last year of E60, 535XI. It's got the dove gray interior. Here's a situation, I'll be quick with this. 535XI, that's the N54, it's a twin turbo inline six with 106,000 miles. You know you're gonna have to address a few things. Wastegates, you're gonna have to, if you look close enough, you can see it's a little bit of oil residue going on there. You know oil filter housing and cooler gaskets leaking. At that mileage, the sump is getting ready to need to be replaced. Uh, man, you're looking at new valve cover mileage. You're looking at getting up on some new control arms. You need to service the tranny. That's what she said. Here's... So he's got the airbag, so it blew the bags. Let's get back on track here. We're getting sidetracked. See, it blew the bags. It didn't blow that bag. Somebody stuck that one back in there, maybe? I don't know. It's got the newer style shifter on it. Interesting, interesting. So in my experience, that's going to go for, man, let's be realistic. It's not worth $10,000. It's worth about eight or nine for that many miles on it. About eight. Let's say eight. Okay. That will probably go for six or seven. I'm just being brutally honest. And that's not worth it. Now, it would have to go for two or 25. You have to fix the damage. The damage doesn't look that extravagant. The crash bar is not busted. Is it for sale from a individual or what? doesn't say so it's individual so has somebody stuck this back together no way to tell there's no way to tell I'd stay away from that like like the plague man I'd rather go to Walmart and not use the wipe on the shopper cart handle I think it's gonna be okay than buy that 2003 x5 that's not worth much current bid 175 bucks we'll entertain ourselves here um, what's that it's like smoke in the video or vape smoke or engine smoke or what's going on there? What's the story here? Run and drive mechanical. Could be transmission, could be head gasket. The paint looks very dull on that. Like something's going on there. I don't know if that side was repainted or what. Let's see here. It's got a trailer hitch. That's never good. It's got black leather. How many miles on this piece of crap? 180. All right, so on Craigslist, one of these will sell for, for an 0330. $2,500 is what that's worth. They say estimated retail on here is $4,300. They must be on meth or something. I don't know. Let's go ahead and click on this. 2009 320XI. So E90, all-wheel drive E90. That is scrap. That is not fixable that's e92 actually Eww. 119,000 miles it's got nasty color interior it's automatic not i drive where's the hell's the i drive no yeah yeah no thanks no thanks. Buy it now for a thousand bucks. Yeah. If you're willing to part it out, maybe. Oh, here we go. Fixer upper. Easy fix, right? Let me see what we got. 131,000 miles. Engine start program, front end damage. It's a wagon. E90 wagon. All wheel drive wagon. That's a rarity. BMW Dr. Dean probably sees these over there a lot of time. A lot of time, but over here it's not heard of. That scrap. All right, moving on. 2008, 328XI, SLUEV. 
Hello, California. If you guys don't know about this car, you don't want that. I thought it was still in 51 in 2008. I thought that was only 2011. I can't remember. Any rate, you don't want it. E92. All wheel drive E92. That's a rarity. I mean, that's like fixable. It's my didn't stick it all back together. And that's the current scam on Copart. Stuff's crashed way worse than you get ever fixed. Uh, somebody will buy it, kind of duct tape, zip tie, stick it all back together. And sell it as it's not very bad damage. 81,000 miles. Has no bids. Salvage title. No thanks. No thanks. 2005 E46. No, we don't want that. 2008 750. Oh, hell no. E65. No thanks. 2008 X548i. So the Sport. I think it's Sport. Now, E70 doesn't really tickle my fancy. Nasty color interior. That's great. It's really terrible pictures they have of it. 90, 97,000 miles of mechanical damage. Primary damage. It just looks rough, right? Just kind of overall kind of dirty. and Well, then you got the, the quad vectra ABS operation going there. Uh, let me see, 2017, BMW has a motorcycle, 2007, they're painting XI, uh, E90, you got to watch those sevens, they got that damn exhaust camshaft issue, you have the tickies, then you got to replace all that crap, this one doesn't look too bad, oh, got the dark, dark brown seats, I forgot what it's called, Got the old style shifter. It does have iDrive. That is a rarity in E90, especially in that year. How much is this piece of crap? Current bid zero. Florida title, clear title, so I could bid on it. Secondary, primary damage mechanical. Let me see my blew her up, boys. Got some little bit of white antifreeze gravy there or something going on. So unfortunately with Copart, 112,000 miles. That's a $4,000 car, $4,500 car. Is that real dark blue or is that black? Can't tell, the pictures are shady as hell. Shady as hell. That's a possibility. When is that bad boy coming up? I was gonna buy it now on it. 3,300 3, bucks. Hit him at a thousand. Uh, and the very last one, 2008, 750. I'd rather have you gouge my eyes out than buy that. Let's try one more thing here. <coughs> we'll hop off of here. Arkansas. And we got two lanes on Little Rock. Little Rock, you could buy anything. Uh, I got seven on this lane. Let's just take a look here real quick. Uh, 335 I E90 2011 80,000 miles current bid a thousand bucks. Eh. Eh. What's going on with the headlight there? It's foggy, I guess. It's kind of rough. It's so hard to tell by these crappy pictures. It's really scratched up, and that's clear coat peeling off there, or what's going on there? Yeah. Some people like that cream color leather. Once that gets dirty, man. Once that gets dirty, that's pretty much in the road. There's no iDrive. Oh, it does have iDrive. Oh. That's N55 car. N55 is uh, legendarily... Carson's emailing me there. Legendarily worse than N54 as far as issues. If you all haven't known, there's some ugly ass wheels. I don't like those at all. All right. It's got a salvage title, but it's in Arkansas. Secondary damage mechanical. Tranny's broken or worse. Rear wheel drive. Thousand bucks. Pure sale. Hmm. Hmm. 
Maybe. All right, here we go. 2019 X3. Let's take a real quick look at this bad boy. Holy. Somebody did a little Dukes of Hazard in that one. Apparently the battery's dead or all the windows are already broken. <coughs> Broke the A-arms, huh? But look how hard that's hit in there. It's probably not fixable. Hate that. Zoom back out. Come on. Come on, mouse setup. So it has a hair trigger on it. Yeah, that's probably not fixable. Door panel's all knocked in. 5,000 miles. I mean, you could fix it good enough to drive it. <laughs> Come on, mouse. Uh, 2004 530i. It's still M54. It had to be cheap. 97,000 miles, front undercarriage damage, and somebody has stuck the. Never mind. <laughs> Never mind. Anyhow, uh, 2004 X3. Holy trailer park, what's going on here? These aren't worth that much anyway. So it's got a clear title, 121,000 miles, mechanical damage. Is it only the fender's a different color? There's no bids. When's this turd coming up? March 18th. It's Monday. Inside looks pretty good. A little bit on the dirty side. No eye drive, no nothing. Some kind of, some kind of diarrhea in the back seat. Though the window's down or broken. M54, like I said, got some brake dust in the wheel. Somebody just put a different fender on it. If that's cheap, that's worth it. But who knows? 1998, 528i, no. 07, looks like this thing's toasted. Oh yeah, that's not that's that's not fixable. Oh, it's like somebody didn't make it either. Got the biohazard sticker on it. Yeah. Somebody definitely died in that thing. Or they crapped their pants whenever they got hit. On two, I'm not sure. Alright, so N52. Got the 3 0. Is that the biohazard? Some turds running down the fender there. That actually might be fixable, but when it has a biohazard sticker on the side of it, sign me out of that one. All right, last one on this one, 2013. Uh, so what would this be? F30. It's like somebody didn't make it in this one either. Okay, hit up here. That's probably still fixable. What is this? What's going on with this? March 18th, salvage title, mechanical, and all over damage. Whoa, that's a problem. Got hit in the rear or something. I don't know what, tornado or hurricane or something. Door panel's missing. I don't even know what happened to this. Was that N53? No. I don't know what that is, S-U-L-E-V. I don't know what they put in 2013 in those. 90,000 miles, and it's on approval, so it has a reserve. That's a mess. That's a typical Copart car there. So that's pretty much it. I mean, we'll back up here and change the lanes just to see what else is in here. Nothing. Got one in here. 2010, 328XI. Salvage title. Side damage, where's the side damage? Yeah! Hmm, man. 60,000 miles? You could probably fix that, but Jesus. I mean, it just depends. It depends on what what's happened here. I um, would think control arms, but they could have ripped it out of the frame too. That's still N52. Okay. 
good night. That's not fixable. Well, I mean, anything's fixable, right? That's got some ugly ass wheels on it too, man. Yeah, the salvage title, what is that really worth? This says $14,000, it must be sniff and glue to think that. You know, that car in the market here where I live at, it's probably, I don't know, $6,000 car, if you're lucky. 60,000 miles up, puts in a weird, that's hard to sell cars like that. All right, so that's my Copart dealings. That was St. Louis and Little Rock both for BMW stuff. So let's go out and see if we're jump packs charged. All right, so I had it plugged in the time we're doing the video. I just walked right back out here. What is that? I don't know how long the video was. 15 minutes long, worst case. And we're already at 66%. So it did 66% charge. Oh no, wait a minute. It's not too bright. It went up to 90, 98%. So I unplugged it. I guess it went all the way up. So we have a little bit different setup here. We have that plugs in up here. So I wonder if this still has a 30 second time off. I don't see that it does. Oh, it has a boost button on the side. So it probably does have a built in 30 second time off. And on the older ones, when they were still making the deal on the cord, the box on the cord you push the button on, well, you know, people like me just cut the box off and you could actually drive the car for a little while on just the jump pack. They don't intend you to do that. But in a couple of instances, instances where I had to drive the car like a block to load it on the trailer or a block or around the yard here, you click it on and leave it on her. So on a lot of these, you only get 30 seconds or maybe up to a minute. You plug the, plug the cord in like so. And then you hit the boost button. I'll turn it on. Hit the boost button starts flashing and then you're ready to go so we'll see we'll go and leave on the charger a little while longer even though it says it's 98 percent it's a nice size it has a nice rubberized coating on it and it should be pretty decent and these are great to charge your phone with these things will charge your phone like if you're going on a trip if you're going on a hiking trip I don't, whoever goes hiking anymore i don't know if you went on a hiking trip or you didn't have power or your power went out you could charge your laptop off this thing. You could charge your phones off of it. You could charge anything that uses a USB or this, whatever has that end on it. And in this case, you could power up your car, just put the cigarette lighter, you know, whatever you want to do. These are overall handy. Check out the link in the description. These guys are nice enough to send that to us and Hopefully it works out really good. Thanks for watching, guys. We'll see you soon.